In this video, we're going to use CorelDRAW to not only create some artwork, but also I'm going to show you how you can create a what I'm going to call virtual proofs to give to the customer so they can use them as sales items for, let's say, they're doing a fundraiser and they need some pictures to show the people what, what the items are going to be. What I've done is I've went into Google and I've just Googled football one color, selected images, and then grabbed this image of a football. This particular job, we're going to cut it out of vinyl, and then we'll also be doing heat transfer vinyl. So it's basically the same process. We need an actual vector cut lines to work with. And all we have here is an image, and that image is 100 by 100 DPI. So we're going to take this image right here. Once we select it, we'll go up here to Trace Bitmap. And since this is fairly simple, we're going to just use Quick Trace. And just that quick, it's going to give us the vector of this object. Now if you watched closely it eliminated some very small lines between some of these threads on the football and I'm okay with that since it's going to be cut out of vinyl it'll just be one less problem when it comes to weeding this job so we're just going to leave it like that it really doesn't affect how the artwork is. So once we've uh, did a trace of that I'm going to take the part that we traced you can see it's now a group of 22 objects down below here I'm going to drag it off of there this is still the image in fact we can just get it up here out of the way now we can select this and right click and go to ungroup because we don't need the white part so now that it's ungrouped we can select the white part delete it with the delete key and then to keep all this together I'm going to go ahead and select that football again and I'll go up here to group or you can right click and hit group. Now we have the football as one piece and we won't accidentally move one piece and not another. So the next thing we're going to do is the customer wants their school mascot above this particular football. So I'm just going to come over here and type in Eagles and get my select tool after I type that in with the text tool. And we'll position eagles above it, but we want it to arch in roughly the same shape as the football. So with the eagles up there, I'm just going to grab the ellipse tool and get a curve that sort of matches that football shape, something about like that, and just leave that there. Now with the select tool, I'll come over here and I will select the word eagles and then I will right click and drag it down until our cursor is right over that circle. At that point we let up and we select fit text to path and we've got eagles arched over the football. Now from here we can go up we can change the font and I'm going to select this college black font and then from there if we have the shape we want, we can just get rid of the oval, or if we need to adjust it, we can go ahead and adjust the shape of the oval to get it to fit our curve more exactly. And I'm pretty happy where it's at, so I'm just going to leave it there. Now to get rid of the oval, we can just click on it once, click on it twice, and we have just the oval selected, and we can just hit the delete key and it's gone. We can just make this... Let's just make this all the same color. I just clicked on um, the RGB black there, so it's all one color. And to show you that this is no longer a image, we'll go up here to View, and then we'll go to Wireframe. And you can see this is all vector, which is what we're going to need to cut this job. We can't we can't cut from a photograph. So we'll take this back to the enhanced mode. Now we have this, and let's say the customer also wants a number, so these would be personalized. We can get the text tool and put their child's number in the middle of it, and we'll switch this over to college black again, and we'll add this to the middle. Put it in there about that size. Now to get all this centered up, the easiest way to do that is with all these elements, just select them all with the select tool. And we'll click on our tab over here that says align and distribute. 
and then with this option right here that will make them all centered perfectly with each other so we don't have to worry about it being different than that and if we change the number we can do that with each one because each number could be a little bit different with depending on what number they're working with so from here the other thing I've done is I've went into Google and I just googled um, SUV back window clicked on image picked out a, a picture of an SUV um, that has a you know a picture of their back window uh, if we're making a vinyl sticker that's going to go on the back window um, to designate their child's um, team and number we can just grab this move it up here this is left click I'm moving it and then right click and that'll make a copy of it up here and then uh, let's say we want it in yellow and then we'll make it a little smaller and we'll just drop it right there and that'll give them an idea how to use the sticker and then I've got a picture again Google black t-shirt found an image I want just copy pasted it right into Corel draw here we can now select our image again drag it down here that's a left click right click before I let up and we have the image down here then we can size that image to whatever size we want to show it on the shirt and now we've pretty much got everything finished we created our artwork we've copied our artwork over here we've changed the color of it um, the artworks ready to run through our vector cutting now we can take these images get them ready to send to the customer we could just select both of those go up here and export them export them as a JPEG so the customer could use them on a website or stick them on a flyer or something like that so they can see what it's going to look like just export the image send it off to the customer and just in a matter of a few minutes we've not only created the artwork but we've gave them samples to look at to show to their students so they can decide what they want whether they want a t-shirt or a vinyl sticker for the back of their car or possibly both and it didn't take all that much time to accomplish so hopefully you learned a few things in here and we'll see you in the next video